and welcome back to Cleveland Legs. Today, I'm excited doing black and mahi with uh, with a Creole cream sauce and some blackened shrimp. Oh, this is good stuff. It's key with blackening. You want to get the pan nice and hot. With tuna, you want to get it white hot because tuna, you really don't want to cook it all the way through. With mahi, you want to do want to cook it all the way through, but only just. So you get the pan nice and hot, some butter, a little bit of oil, pull up uh, the, uh, the burning point up on the butter. And then you just put the put it presentation side down first so that that part cooks and just follow that cook line. You'll see on the side when it gets almost to the top. That's when it's time to flip. Maybe five minutes on one side, a minute on the other. That's it. The sauce is so easy. Shallot, garlic, cook that down in a stick of butter. Add some cream in it. Get that one. It's right about to get thick and season it with some Creole seasoning, some uh, blackened seasoning. And then go ahead and add in some Parmesan cheese to thicken it up. Dump the pasta in. Fold it all together. Done. Shrimp. The key with that, when you're cutting the side, you want to cut that uh, spine down to open it up and give yourself more surface area to carry the seasoning. You're going to blacken out like you are with mahi, but maybe a minute to two minutes aside. Easy, easy, easy. Let's get started. Pat them as dry as possible. Shrimp. You run the knife. You can see right there where the uh, there was the vein at. The vein came out of. You're just going to slice it right there and finish that line off. That's going to give you more surface area for the um, seasoning. Here in a bowl, I have some homemade blackened seasoning right here. Use that on the shrimpies. Don't be afraid to be extra generous here. So shrimpies are done. We're going to set these on the side and we'll start working on the fish. For the mahi fillets, we're going to do something similar. We're going to take them, we're going to dry them out with some, some paper towels, as dry as we can get them. Both sides. We're going to take, just your, for this dish in particular, this isn't black and mahi, this is a little different. We're going to take just some regular Cajun seasoning, whatever you like. It's a black and seasoning. this I'm using Kinder's blackened seasoning. I love this stuff. It's got like a lemon zest in it, which really, really booms the flavor big time compared to some of the other stuff you can find. Rub that in real well. All right. For the mahi, what we did, we took it and we just seasoned both sides with a little bit of Slappy Mama. And a little bit of Kinder's black and seasoning. And then you rub it in. We're going to let this sit for about 20 minutes. Then we'll start getting the sauce started. Well, the butter is melting down. I like that in two pieces just to make it really easy to melt down. Then drop in the shallot, the garlic. We'll also throw in just a touch of Cajun seasoning. We want to make sure that garlic doesn't burn. So, keep an eye on it. Right, the garlic is starting to turn colors. So, we're going to go ahead and drop in a little bit of heavy cream. I'll let this come up to a simmer. And then we'll add in the base. We're also going to season this with a little bit of black pepper right now. Go ahead and add in the base to it. You see that slight change of color? It's kind of what you're looking for there. Go ahead and add up some basil chiffonade to it. Work that in. That's nice and thick, thick, thick now. I'm going to kill the heat all the way off. And just wait for that pasta to be done. This is pretty much al dente. So just about before al dente. I'm going to pour that in there. Get all of that work together. Just going to let it kind of just finish off in the sauce. And we'll be able to see it'll absorb quite a bit of that. Looks loose now. It won't when it's done. I promise you. Trust me. Trust me. Or you can use whatever pasta you want in this dish. I like using rotini or penne because in my mind, the pasta's only goal is it's a vehicle to get the sauce 
from the plate into your mouth hole. So I want a pasta that's going to have plenty of surface area to latch on to that beautiful sauce. So at this point, go ahead and squirt some lemon juice in it. Just a little bit. And I'm going to put some uh, grated Parmesan cheese in there. And we're going to turn the heat off all the way. I'm going to work that cheese in it by thicken everything up. Not my whisk. See how nicely that's all nice and together, together like that? That's beautiful. It's exactly what we wanted. You go ahead and set this to the side and get the seafood done because that only takes like five minutes now that the sauce is finished. Not that the sauce took a long time either. This is like one of those miracles, miracle, miracle weekday meals. All right, we got these down, facing face down first. This is why I cut those shrimp like that. I wanted to show, well, you can't really see it that way. See how it opens up like that? Takes up more seasoning, more surface area. That's why we do that cut. Now this, you can kind of tell right here where that cook line is coming up to the top. So this is ready to flip. You go ahead and flip it. We showed black and mahi in a previous video. I just want to skip ahead to this part right here just to show how to tell when it's done. Now we're gonna turn the heat off, let the residual heat finish that, and start plating everything up while that's finishing off.